and welcome to this Needham Channel Sports presentation of Needham Boys Soccer. It is the section final and the Rockets playing in their sixth section final in the last eight seasons will face Brockton. Mike Levin here with you joined by our soccer guru Judy Brady and Judy I remember you were at the section final between Needham and Brockton two years ago. Indeed. So it's, I was going to say, is this, this is the first boys broadcast you've done since then? Or did you do uh, some last year? I might have dabbled in it a little bit here and there in between. <laughs> but um, that was a memorable one. A chilly night down in uh, Whitman Hanson when they took on Brockton. And I did happen to get to uh, the semifinal the other night here with the Needham Rockets. That was... Um, a great game against Silver Lake and the Brockton team was there to watch it. They had played before them mm -hmm. and their team and their parents were all hanging out watching it. So they've had a good chance to scout us very recently and I expect a really uh, entertaining game today. Yeah, this is not, and it's not just the first time these two teams have played each other in the section finals, it's not the second time they played each other a couple of times, not just in section yep. finals, but all through the Division I South playoffs over the last couple of years, the yep. last almost decade, I suppose you could say. I mean, yep. Brockton has been a great team. They're the three seed this year. Needham is the one. Two years ago, Brockton was the one seed. Needham, I think, was, they were a lower seed. They were like yes. the 11th seed, and they sort of... Yes. We were able to uh, come, up, come up with a couple of big wins en route to making that section final. I think that final was only one nothing. It was a close game. It really was, given that the teams were, um, you know, Brockton had a lot of big, strong seniors that year. Uh, we were a bit of a younger team at the time, and it was, uh, they were great. Brockton was really good that year, if you recall. They were mm -hmm. quite dominant. So we'll see how they fare against Needham this year. Speaking of big, strong seniors, Needham comes into this game and this season with 15 seniors, uh, many of whom have just taken the field. We got Jaheim Neblet for Brockton, number 10, I believe, is going to uh, take the uh, take the opening kick here. We are underway from Hingham High School. Same team that uh, Needham beat in the quarterfinals, actually, back a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. at Memorial Field. Uh, yeah, hang on. That's right. So we're here at their home field. <laughs> Ooh, they're hosting the, the girls game adjacent here in another field, and the boys have just kicked off. Nice that we have the sunshine still with us. Oh, no, the, the girls game was first. And it, oh, it was, oh, yes. Okay, they, we just heard them cheer just now. Yes. And actually, King Philip, who was the top seed, undefeated, beat Needham in the semifinals. Just they the just other day. Got ups, they just got upset by Bishop Fee and 2-1 in that game. Yeah, they were the big-time number one seed mm -hmm. and played like it when they played against Needham. So it must be a big uh, victory feeling for Bishop Fee today to come away with that win. Needham will put the ball on the ground. This is Nate Ramris on our close side, number 18, one of my favorite seniors. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nate. He's had a really great season. I love him. He was, uh, I think I was one of his first coaches at St. Bart's in first grade. St. Bart's. Yes, that I, takes I, me back. Yes, indeed. St. <laughs> Bart's soccer. St. Yeah. Bart's soccer. We had a cute little team in first grade, and Nate was one of our players. Anyway, so here he is. Flash forward. What, 15 years? Yeah, I think I played on St. Saint, Saint Bart's Soccer for about a year or two and uh -huh. realized it wasn't very good, and I was like, yeah, no, nah, I think I've had enough. That was an early realization, Mike. You <laughs> yeah. couldn't have given it another year or two? Yeah. Most people who know me know I've never yeah. been much of, a, of an athlete. No patience. No patience. Oh, okay. Ironically, considering how active I am in the sports broadcast yes. over the years. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> All right. Brockton looking good. Coming out good. Jimmy O giving some coaching advice from the sideline, too, in front of us. Uh, so the other night, the boys played against Silver Lake and really had a great showing. They possessed really well. They, um, they were patient. They had, it took them a long time to score. And uh, well, I heard their defense played a very good game. Defense did great. Yep. They have been anchored all year by Brian Pullman, who plays that sweeper back position. Mm -hmm. And he is... Um, Really, really a strong player. So he'll have his work cut out for him today. I don't think he's had to touch a ball just yet, but we shall see. The other um, outcome of that game is Joe Spielman, number 13 for the Needham Rockets, who is a senior, went down hard and uh, came out of the game, and we do not see him here today. So uh, the Rockets will miss him. I believe that Nate is in on that left midfield for Joe, who is out. 
We're going to have a corner kick for Brockton here. And unfortunately, with the way I set up this camera today, we won't be able to see uh, the corner kicks in this particular corner. But oh well. We'll see the ball when it comes into play. <laughs> you'll see That's in, the yeah, you'll part. see the ball yeah. when it comes into play. All right, cleared out by my favorite lefty. <laughs> Oh, nice move. Brockton keeps it in. And Maslow. Far side there. Yeah, Maslow will touch it out. So Matt Maslow, number two, playing uh, defense back there, touches the ball out of bounds. He is the younger brother. I want to say, I can't, now I'm, I'm spacing on his brother's name, Aaron Maslow, I think. Anyway. Sure. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Uh, we apologize, played, guys, we got as, that wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, Maslow's. A nice Balls in kick play. by Beautiful. Brockton. There's a oh, header. Huge Deflected, save. Deflected, yeah. Huge save. I think um, Garrett got his uh, uh, hand on that yeah. to save it. Wow. It's hard to tell in all that, that big scuffle, but yeah, it's going to be kicked wow. over the net, and it'll be a goal kick for Garrick. Oh, that was nerve wracking. Let's, uh, Rockets need to get some possession here, get some control in their own way. Ah, too bad. We've got a whistle here on the Rockets. So one thing I want to mention is that the Rockets are the number one seed in the section for the first time since the last time they won the state championship, Ooh, which would be 2014. That's exciting. And actually, the time before that was two years before that, in 2012, when they oh, won the state championship. Were, oh, so interesting. So they we'll came out on see, top. We'll see if that happens again. Yep. For well, Needham. it's... It's nice to think those things matter, <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, and anything can happen. Anyone's game here. It really can. That's the fact that matters. A game like this, these are two yep. very good, evenly matched teams. Yeah. That's it, Mass. That was kicked up. <laughs> I've got a throw in here for Brockton. <laughs> Can't see the throw-in from the corner either. <laughs> oh, no. Shocking. <laughs> maybe I should have gone up top to the, uh, the top of the press uh, box Maybe here. we'll <laughs> shift at halftime. Maybe viewers will be surprised. Eh. We'll see. Nice job. Matt Doherty comes back to try to get that header and give it to number 10, Ale. Alejandro. Ooh, that's a good hit. That'll go over. Um, Alejandro, number 10, had a big goal the other night, as did Nate Goldberg. Um really big finish the other night. We ended at 2-0 because there was a, a penalty called outside on the far side of the field. Nate put it down, saw that the goalie was out, and took it really quickly and chipped it over his head, and it went into the net with huh. a minute remaining in the game. So that was the finish. That's it. Stephen Donovan had a really great game the other night as well. It's against Silver Lake. Matt Doherty, 20. Going to chase this down. He's got some quickness. He could surprise that defense. Look at him get there. Um, yeah, but Stephen Stephen Donovan, number 23 in the midfield, really doing some big work the other night, and here he'll he'll do it again. He is uh, super strong, super quick, really great on the ball. Oh, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Brock is trying to put some pressure on, but Brock is yeah. able to get it back out. Oops, that's going to little happen there run. by who's Matt that? Federko. Federko, yeah. Yeah. Not sure that's exactly what he was hoping to do, but we'll get it back. Um, and it's, you know, most important that he was the one to get under it. Take to the near side here. Mm -hmm. Way to get there, Nate Ramrus. Uh, Brockton doing a good job of kind of just switching the sides of attack, trying to see what they can get and need them kind of shifting and answering that <laughs> brockton taking their time with the uh the throw in here number 13 the rosa is going to take it nice brian pullman with the header out good That's defense good by the clear. rockets Brockton getting in position again. Yeah. Maslow's going to chase that out. Oh, he manages to keep it in bounds. That was a good <laughs> hustle. 
Keeps it in bounds, but he loses the possession as yeah. Brockton Brockton. boots it back yeah. downfield. Flicks it on to himself. Brian Pullman's going to come way over to try to <laughs> he got play that. Shoved a little bit going out. We're going to have a throw in for Brockton. So not a huge Needham crowd here today. That's probably because a lot of them, a lot of the Needham faithful are probably heading over to Worcester later today for uh, the girls' for volleyball the girls state volleyball. championship. Yeah. Looks like a decent turnout, though. Is it? Yeah. Well, maybe I'm thinking because the they... last game had a, had a lot of people. Yeah, they're still trickling in. So. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I was gonna say I do this every time, especially with like football and stuff, where I yeah. think, "Hey, where are all the fans?" And then yeah, we're late to the party. Fifteen I... minutes. Yeah, fifteen minutes yeah. in, all of a sudden it's packed. Matt Doherty flicks it on, and then Ale does the same. Oh, this would be a fortunate wow. bounce, and Matt will stay on it. Oh. <laughs> Steven tried to follow it up. It's always interesting. You see, here header, goes, header, here goes header, the header, fans. Header. Yes, yeah. here come the fans making some noise. Oh, you know what? Yeah, see, everybody's sort of yep, down at that side. end. Yep. Not as, there's not too many people in front of us. Yep. Need him looking for a little momentum here. Going to make something out of that little run. This is Marcus Trabuco, number 25. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate call. I don't know. But. We'll give the refs the big um, the benefit, benefit of the doubt. Thank you. Benefit of the doubt is what I wanted to say. Yep. I do feel for the referees in these tournament <laughs> games. They take a lot of uh, abuse. Abuse. Good word. Lucas Fernandez is going to take the kick for the boxers. Right up the middle. And then low. Yep. Yeah, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus gets ahead on that. So Marcus Trabuco, the youngest of the four Trabuco boys, one of our favorite Needham families. He is um, only a sophomore and has played the majority of games at holding midfield or stopper there, center back, and really done, ooh, really done a great job. Nice. Gehrig get, makes the catch, but there's a whistle on that play, was so he's going to take a kick. I don't know. Was it, that, or something? it was either a little push or it went out of bounds before Maybe. he caught it. I saw a Brockton um, player sort of go up, maybe pushed off. Yeah, could be on a kick like that. Whoops. Um, so, yeah, so Marcus, 25, has had a great season. Uh, he had a few great shots the other night. He's one of those um, defensive players that doesn't often get marked, and if a ball pops out to him, he can rip a shot. So we'd love to see that again today. Oh, off balance. Steven will try to come up with it. Yeah, boxers are trying to get through that Needham defense so far to no avail. That one's a nice one up the middle. But again, <laughs> stripped Pullman. by the Needham yeah. D. Brian Pullman kept his legs closed. That That's was, Pullman? That was him, yeah. 12? Twelve. He's, he's the blondie. <laughs> Easy to spot. Ale, nicely done, little give and go. One thing I like about being at this close angle, usually when we're up at Memorial, or even in oh. that Defazio sometimes, is that the, the gold numbers on the back of the blue jerseys are sometimes kind of hard to read. Yes. But we're, we're a lot closer than we usually are, so it's easy today. Yes, agreed. Great job by Mac Turner here in the back, 16. Step into the ball, keeping our possession. Oh, that's Federico there. Puts it out to Goldberg. As you can hear them calling for it. Goldberg and Ale will come up with it. Yep. Uses a Maslow for the quick touch. You can how do you pronounce his last name? Aguilimpia? Aguilimpia. Looks like that's how it's written. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Steven puts it up. Who wants it? Get a hit on that. Oh, someone put there. Oh, what a nice takedown. Finish. Oh. Deflected oh out. God. That was a great shot opportunity for the Rockets. Oh, oh we still got it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Maslow's going to put it across. Who's got it? The Rockets trying oh. to center it in, but the Brockton defense does a good job of oh. punching it out for Bummer. the time being. That was such a good chance. Marcus will turn with it, try to. That a boy. Way to fight and tries to poke it through. Brockton defender comes up with it. Wow, what a great opportunity that was. Yeah, in the early going, the Rockets haven't had a lot of chances down at the Brockton end. So that was really oh, the oh. first good opportunity that the that Rockets have had. That was excellent. And that will give us a little confidence, maybe a little courage. Oh, well, as Brockton been, fans showing up. <laughs> has been sort of been the case uh, this whole, or most of this week anyways. It's another chilly day here for soccer. But yes. 
I've heard that there was a, a pretty bad wind for the first game, so so far the wind has held off, so that's yes. been good. Matt Doherty, what a Here great Here we go, Doherty on the up. run. He's got a few on him. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. You know, I love that. The a little ref, too much strength. A little um, a fall on the Brockton player, but the ref did not call any foul there, which is nice. He didn't get fouled. He just sort of got tangled up in Caught his own up, feet. Yeah. yeah. So um, Matt gets that opportunity, creates a lot. Matt creates a lot of havoc up top, which is tough to defend. <laughs> Ball's in there, big ball in there. Marcus is tracking is it, it, and Matt comes up with it. Steven comes to it. it. Yeah, this midfield is going to be fun to watch all day. If I'm kid, not mistaken, good. Doherty might have been the one who had the hat trick against Hingham. Before, uh, uh, oh, when they played them? <laughs> in the first couple of minutes, I think. I don't know. It's definitely Ooh. early. Here's uh, a good oh, opportunity for Brock. Oh, oh, oh. That one crosses just a little bit too oh, far. Oh, oh, oh. That Number is nine, they're be saying debatable. that it's off of Needham. I, it should be a corner, uh, they're but. They're calling I, it a goal kick. Yeah. It was deceiving, but I actually do think that was off of Needham. And you know what? Now I'm looking at number nine's name, Vanilton Xavier. He is yes. one of the top players. He's one of the guys to look for. I think he had the game winning goal for Brockton. Mm -hmm. In their semifinal. He's a tall drink of water, that's for sure. <laughs> and Marcus is staying tight on him, so he must be uh, well known to our team as well. Right. He's got great height, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like yeah. a top soccer doesn't player. He? Yeah. <laughs> and it's not just the hood. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. He'll poke through. Ali's going to try to keep it in. You know, this is where the, these Needham offensive players put such good pressure on the D. Look at this. Look. Oh, still got it. Oh, Stephen Donovan, beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful! Oh, I'm sorry. Is that that was not Stephen? That was Matt. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was to say, if it had been Stephen, I would have mentioned the athlete, Stephen Donovan. He oh, shows up yes. in a lot of different sports. Yes, he does. Part of that state championship baseball team from a couple years ago. Yep. As is his twin sister, Anna Donovan, one of my Which favorite girls, I senior did, at Needham High School. I did not know that. He, he had, had a, twin a twin sister until just before this game, and he told me, so that's pretty cool. She's a little, she's a cutie. Ooh. And they have a big sister, too. I feel like now I have to <laughs> get the whole family mentioned. <laughs> um, but great, great Needham family. So it's oh. always a family affair when we're talking Needham athletics. It seems like there's so many, like, yep, yep. athletic families. Yep. It runs in families. There's a nice spin. Oh, Brian Poolman, speaking of athletic families. Woo. 22 with a move there from underneath. Yeah. Oh, and they keep doing this, right? This big switch of the field. I, I kind of love it. I like how they do it. It, it shifts everything. It um, puts Needham kind of back on their heels a little bit. And it gives them a chance to cross it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Another opportunity for yeah. Brockton here. but yep. Steven will touch it to a teammate. That's Steven's forte. He really keeps the ball with our team. Mm-hmm. It'll be a Brockton throw on the far side. Fans are getting, getting, having some fun with this. So that's <laughs> good. Yeah, they're getting verbal. It's good. It's all good. Well, these, good. I was going to say, these are two big time soccer fan bases because Brockton, yes. I mean, they're playing in their third yes. um, section final in the last five years. And the yeah. previous two, they won two years ago against Needham and I think great. two years before that against Wellesley. Yep. Oh, Here's a, a great ball. opportunity, but <laughs> just out of the reach of number 10, Jaheim ne Neblet. Yes. And Xavier put that ball through on a platter. <laughs> They're going to want that one back, and we are lucky again. I'd love to know if Xavier's going on to play college oh, soccer because he seems like the kind of guy that would yeah. excel at the next level. <laughs> I think everyone on this field has that potential. I mean, this is a great yeah, look at these two great teams, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, they, he is clearly a, a player, as we <laughs> say. Mac Turner staying on his man. Steven's going to pressure in the midfield. Oh, oh, and he touches There's it Xavier to get right around there, trying him. to rush yep. to it, but the Rocket defense Frederico, stops. Frederico, yep, gets a touch on it. Ooh, <laughs> taking one for the team is Alejandro. <laughs> that must be hard on a cold day like this. Huh? <laughs> I think we mentioned Hopefully that during he the girls' game earlier this good. week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice give and go up the right side by Brockton. Yeah, good passing by Brockton. Ooh. Number That'll five, Louis Spinola with a nice shot that's just a little bit too high. 
Coach Odierna looking for uh, some players to warm up, thinking about make, maybe making some subs as we get down to about 22 minutes left in the first half. So we're about halfway through, almost exactly. Wow, that time certainly flies. Interesting. It does go by <laughs> fast when you want a goal, right? Yeah. It's going to fly over. Brian's going to be there, oh, unfortunately, right to the Brockton player. Yeah. 22 here. Derek Brito had it. Number 10. That's Neville it again. <laughs> Need him defense all over him. He's trying to get some space. The Rockets there we go. able to get it We're out. Gonna find the blue. Find the blue shirts. We're going to play connect the dots. <laughs> We're going to try anyway. Whoa. Hard to beat these guys with yeah. the fancy moves, especially in the middle, but also need to get that available pass. There's Anna Donovan right there. Isn't she cute? <laughs> <laughs> She's the best. Like trying to <laughs> watch the game, watch I the camera, know. and then it's like, hey, look hey, at there. there's Oops. Anna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Did you say Anna was a soccer player? She was. She didn't play this year. We missed her, but um, she was a great little soccer player. Yep. Quick, quick, quick feet. Much like someone else we see on the field, her brother. I think he probably <laughs> gets it from her. <laughs> All right, Brockton with a throw. Look at the sunshine hitting the field just right. It's a it's great a day to play. I would say it's a beautiful day. No clouds in the sky. Yep, it just is. You know, it's uh, it's so different to play in a clear day like this rather than a little rain or wind. or It's not even really that windy. So. No, it really isn't right now. Uh, very calm and, and, and uh, confident in the back here. That'll work for us. Ali's going to have to hold him off. Oh, wins the throw in on the far side. There goes Nate Goldberg. He's going to look for the big ball up oh, he front. He kicks it. Mm -hmm. Matt Doherty's <laughs> like there. Like a drop kick or something? A little half volley. <laughs> yes, that's, what, that's just like that. That's a good, you know, it's a good strategy if we can, a little further out, though, too, too far in and the goalie will get it. But a little further out and you can look to deflect it in. Nice job, Mac Turner. Steven Good. comes over to help him out. Yeah, wow. Right here on the near sideline. Look and at I these teams them. fight for every single out-of-bounds possession. Because they know it matters. Yeah, yep. every possession oh. matters. Federico steps up towards it. Here goes comes through. Xavier. All got right. <laughs> We've got a lot of blue shirts on. <laughs> yeah, Let's a see. lot of blue shirts right there. But he draws and the foul. Yeah. That is a professional play right there. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Who was that? that looks like uh, he wants to take it himself, too. 20, 25 that he drew it on? From uh, there were a few Needham shirts yeah. to choose from. You just, you'd pick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Marcus think... has been on him really tight, so 25 is Marcus Strabuco, but. Oh, wow, so we're gonna uh, have a kick from straight on here. Yeah, but he's gonna have to clear the wall or through it or over it. Brockton yep. will put a player right on the wall. The referee will mark off the 10 yards. He's telling them don't move. He's going to on his whistle, and it looks like nine will take a shot. Let's see. Here it comes, Xavier, oh, with the shot that oh. does not clear, but it's a good opportunity for Brockton. It's an interesting uh, take. He didn't quite loft. Oh, we have a whistle for a corner. Corner? Pointing huh. to it, yep. So he didn't quite shoot it hard, and he didn't quite loft it over. Sort of something in the middle. Yeah. So it's sort of. Anyway. He'll get the corner. This is the always rocket, dangerous. The rocket wall sort of just was able to deflect that, and I think it was six in the corner that had an opportunity. Santos, I think that would be, if it was six. Yes, indeed. Christian Santos, a senior. Now here we have ten taking this, Neblet. Yes, you like saying his name. You want to <laughs> do that again? Here oh, it goes. Whoa. It's going to be punched out, I Garrick think, by Garrick. with punch. Yes. Oh, and it goes back. Here's a okay. rebound opportunity. He's trying to set up his Brockton. Seven was trying to get there. That was Fernandez, but the Rockets on the defensive end. Did a great job, and I think that's going to be a goal yeah. kick. Mac Turner playing some great D on that left side. We got a couple of subs coming in here. Number nine, Chris Fleming, also a senior. And who else came in? Uh, 24 here is coming in, and he is our freshman. Huh. That is Dylan Maloney, freshman, who has seen some time. He came in the other night. Rockets trying to advance it past midfield. They haven't had a lot of opportunities to do so. 
in this game. It's been very few and far between. Brockton's offense certainly yeah. has kept it. Maybe like you said, it's sort of the midfielders that have sort of kept it in yep. the need of end. Yep, their midfield has been quite good, but uh, when we have had our chances to get it over over the midfield, we've uh, made the most of them. So hopefully we'll, we'll get a lot of pressure on your back there, Matt uh, Federico. That was Neblin on the far oh. side, setting up number five who hits it over the net for, Spinola. Looking for the call for the corner. He's claiming it went off the Needham defender, but the referees say, nope, goal yeah. kick. <laughs> Less than 17 minutes to go in this first half. No score yet here between Needham and Brockton. That one's going to sort of... Oh, <laughs> nice hustle. Curves Dylan almost out of it. bounds. Yeah. Tries to keep it in. He'll come back to Gehrig and he will yeah. play it out. Gehrig had a great game the other night against Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that well, he's had a really good season, too. Yes, I mean... No complaints, right? <laughs> Maslow uses the bleacher backboard to get the ball back. See if you can keep it. So you're seeing a lot of physicality when the when they have the ball. There's a lot of pressure on them, and I mean physical pressure, like leaning into each other. So some some of the these balls are going to be won. What a beautiful ball, Stephen Donovan to Matt, who tries to take it down to himself. Oh, good hustle, putting pressure, great pressure on the D. <laughs> Number seven from Brockton, really looking good on the ball. Fernandez. He is Lucas Fernandez, yep. Um, so I was saying they just, they're going to need to be really strong physically and hold off these guys when they do have the ball. That one will fly. <laughs> Hopefully the fans are awake over there in the sun. Now I'm guessing similar to the Steve. girls game the other night, it's the Brockton fans that are basically on the opposite side. I, you know what? I don't think it. I don't think they did that this uh, in this game. For this one? Yeah, Stephen kind of ran ran into him, but I, I I didn't see any contact with his head. He's holding his head. Um, yeah, the other night when you arrived at the field, they asked a certain whichever town to sit on the far side. But these bleachers are Brockton's are on the right, pretty big. Needham's on the left. But and there are a lot of way, fans lot of on red. the other side, and it's a lot of red, so it might be a lot so of yeah, Brockton. Yeah, that's what yeah. I figured. I saw yeah. the red. I was like, yeah. well, it's not, definitely not Wellesley. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I should mention, speaking of a blue versus red big-time rivalry, today there is a big football game going on at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. My alma mater, Ithaca College, playing SUNY Cortland oh. in the annual Cortica Jug game. They're breaking a new a Division III uh, football record for attendance. Oh, that's great. I, you know, I was kind of hoping I could go down for that at some point because there were plenty of tickets available. but They would have broken the record by one more person. <laughs> yes, right, exactly. That is awesome, and that, I know that's a great rivalry. I went to college in upstate New York as well, and I think that people around here don't really realize how much, um, you know, how, how big the rivalries are up there and how, how much uh, competition there is lying in upstate New York. And one of the reasons I went to Ithaca, besides obviously they had a great television program. Uh-huh, they um, sure do. Is, was that rivalry and how it's very similar to, it, it reminded me a lot of Needham Wellesley. Ah, uh, cool. 17 coming in. Marco Flano. You know what? I think he meant 17 from Brockton. Marco Flano is a Needham player. Sergio yes, De Silva. Yes, De Silva, yeah. Yeah. The announcer was... Uh, so he came in for number 15 who went down holding his head. He was standing on the sideline. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Oh. Tony wasn't really paying attention. That was Went lucky. right off him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Good hustle by Dylan to get back there. And we're going to see if we can win it back. Oh, Matt. That'll work out. Matt's trying to direct it with his chest. Ooh. Marcus. We'll send it back out to the wing. Nate Goldberg. Trying to catch it. The ball is pinging around right now. And again, it just seems like every time the Rockets get it down in the Brockton end, yeah. it's been tough for them to yeah. just find any kind of room. Yeah, Lucas Fernandez, number seven for Brockton. Oh, that, that's a handball. Oh, no call. No call. Uh, is doing a great job back there. Racing to it, Mario DeSantos, number two, and he's trying to set something up. That was Xavier. Yep, that was a good... And I good, think the call on him. Yeah, that was a good uh, shield 
by Marcus, and number nine tried to climb over his back and uh, got called for it, and he's still talking to the referee about it. So <laughs> a little complaining going on. That That's never a great idea. We'll see how that plays out. <laughs> okay. Good idea to pop it over Jimmy. Jimmy did not like that uh, that choice. That was Jimmy O <laughs> saying, play our feet. And he's right. You know, you can't just give well, it back to I heard him say there's them. nobody there. <laughs> there. Well, there were a couple of Brockton players. <laughs> um, but he's right. You know, you can't just you can't just give it to their defense because they will take it happily. There's a nice move by number five. He's going to put it in the middle. Rocket Ooh. defense. No whistle there. That That's is, that is a whistle. Now they're calling him. Yeah, that was a huge, uh, well, not huge. Wait. I believe Nate Goldberg went down hard at the hands of a Brockton well, offensive sort of player. And you know pointing what? Pointing at him. Yep. The ref had it the whole way. Nate's not happy about it, but he's jogging over here to the sideline. They're making him go off? Uh, I don't know if they're making him go off, but, um, oh, you know what? Uh, yep, they are making him go off. And Nate Ramos pops back on the field, and Dylan's going to run to the far side to take on that right midfield for him. And Matt Maslow dropped back into right back. So they just did a little shift. But, yeah, um, if you go down and, okay, here we go, and they call the game for you, you do have to sub out. I hmm. don't know if that's exactly what was going on there, but that does happen. Well, he went down. Oh, and oh. The uh, number two for Brockton just grabbed Nate's waist and brought him down. And it was, oh, and they just high-fived each other. That's adorable. <laughs> Um, but the so you could hear the fans saw it, but I don't know if the referee saw it. He's he's playing the he's playing the throw in. Yeah, so we're seeing some some uh, little underhanded play. Did I just see Jimmy sort of talk to the referee to say watch for something? Oh yeah, he literally grabbed him by the waist and pulled him down. I don't know if we'll see it in the replay. Oh, lovely touch! Here we go. The oh, what a There's good a luck. shot that's. Good luck wide, by right. Chris Fleming. Fleming? That was Fleming? Yeah, that was Chris. Now the Needham fans coming alive here. Oh, that'll do it. A great shot like that. Nice play, too. Nate getting a little instruction from a fan. Did you hear that, Nate? No. He was telling him to watch out for his left. Getting heated here in Hingham High School. Yeah. With uh, about 11 minutes left until halftime. Nice step, Stephen Donovan. Oh, that's that was good, D. Doherty. I brocked him. Um, Nate comes up with it, gets it to 20. Ooh, awkward fall. Yeah, that was definitely Steven going Donovan. for the ball there. We'll the shot, it. it's a little bit wide to Love the left. It. Now 13 went down hard, but yeah. I mean that was right in front of us. You can clearly see he goes for the ball, yeah. and the guy's literally just yeah. in his yeah. in his path, and there's nothing you can do. Right yeah, there. He just, They're both he fell going a little for awkwardly. It. He's okay. He's coming yeah. up. Yeah. But I think the refs wisely, you know, you don't yeah. call fouls and stuff like that for something like yeah. that because what are you supposed to do? Not go for the ball? You're supposed to just let Brockton have it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. The ref is having a conversation with someone on the sideline uh, to debate <laughs> something that's going on. So, um, you know, people are, are starting to get to the referee. So hopefully he's doing yeah. a great job. I, I think he's, he's calling what he can and making some sense along the way and explaining himself here and there. So that's all you can do. Fleming kicks it out, so it'll be a throw in for Brockton with about 10.20 to go until halftime. Still mm -hmm. no score here between Needham and Brockton in the section final. Suddenly it's feeling like it's been a long time since, you know, since the game started. Yeah. Uh, it just feels like a lot's happened in the last 10 minutes. There we Trying go with that Brockton long centering ball. it in the middle back to the Needham end. One thing we have not talked about, I don't know if we do want to talk about it, but if Needham, <laughs> or whoever wins this game, is going to be facing off with whoever wins the Division One North, and one of those teams could very well be Medford, who's been in the news a lot lately. Yes, indeed. Uh, who weren't going to be allowed to compete. Now, now they are. So That's it'll be interesting right. to see who wins that game between them oh. and Lincoln Sudbury. And for the viewers who don't know that story, <laughs> go to any go to any website news and look it up. Yeah, in look Boston because yeah. they've all got so, it. <laughs> so just basically some debate on the eligibility yeah. of some players that was over, uh, was uh, challenged and then overruled 
recently by a judge, so they are going on to play, right? Yep. Is that a, in a nutshell? They are. Yeah. A little bit later today, I think they're up in Lynn, I believe is where they're yep, playing. Yeah, that big stadium in Lynn. We've been there for the Eastern Mass Championship many, many times, and they uh, it's always a nice chilly night <laughs> <laughs> at the end of November. Uh, uh. But that stadium is a great stadium. It's almost worth the trip. <laughs> <laughs> And the Eastern Mass Championship game is always a great game. Oh, nice. Nate Ramrus is going to... This year, I think it's up in it. Norwell, if I'm not mistaken. Which one? The Eastern Mass? This, Yeah, this year's North versus South. I think it's up in Norwell on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Okay, so Eastern Mass final. Yes. Yeah. Norwell. Norwell's not up they, north, is it? Where's Norwell? I think is it's it? up north. Oh. You know, I have no idea. I know that we've played there before, but... I hmm. do not know where Norwell is. Well, it's it's southern, but we'll see. Is it southern? That's I'm going to consult question. Siri and get back to the viewers <laughs> on that. Matt Federko with a nice quick touch out. Nice, Steven. And Matt touches it quickly to Chris. Oh. Oh. Off him. That's going to be a... Oh, they called wow. it a Needham throw off the toe of I the mean, player. Right there, you can sort of see 17 to Silva. Give it a nice little shove. Yeah. So Brockton definitely playing a physical game right now, yeah. which is interesting because they haven't oh, really needed nice it. Oh, what a nice touch. 24, that's Dylan. That's Marcus. Oh, Marcus has his hands full, doesn't he? Here's number 10. Oh. He's got it. Neblet. Someone's going to take One man ball. to beat oh, you know. He's able All to right. cross at number five with a nice you know shot what? that goes wide yep. to the left. Garrick made a lunge for it, but... I got to give um, uh, Federko credit on that. He saw that um, Brian was picking up the ball and he stayed with the player on the right and forced him to make that, you know, shot that was just a little off with a little pressure to push him off. So that was excellent, like just wherewithal from our friend Matt Federko. Chris Fleming coming out of the game after having a nice impact up top. And uh, let's see, Ale is back in. Chris Federko again on that ball. We got a lot. Ho, ho, ho. Not afraid to shoot. Yeah, that one goes out and another goal kick coming for Needham. Less than seven minutes to go until halftime here. Less than two until we get the, uh, the stoppage time. Oh, your favorite, the stoppage <laughs> time. Yes, Norwell is 15 minutes south of us here. Oh, so it's right around here, okay. Which, yeah, I guess it does seem like it's oftentimes on the in a northern um complex but or stadium i would assume so that they switch it up you would so maybe yeah year. maybe it was just northern when i was watching <laughs> anyway i'll be watching this one oh steven tries to take it down didn't have many options they're all over him he stays with it and wins it back turned over again a lot of a lot of these teams are so good the pressure on the ball is so quick None of them have a ton of time with it. So there's stuff like that. Oh, this is going to be a good look for a cross. That's too far. So that'll trickle over the end line for a goal kick. Yeah, just let him a little bit too far on that one. Lucky for us. Yeah. <laughs> I think Xavier was uh, sort of just ran out of yes. real estate there. So he was looking to try to get the nice, not a deflection, but sort of just knock it in from the side, but goal kick for the Rockets here. And Pushing again, it on, they, Mac Turner. Yeah, as soon as they get it to ooh. midfield, there's Brockton <laughs> to push it back yep. into Needham's end. Yep. Putting some good pressure on the ball. Got to keep that up. It definitely throws them off their game. There's Steven putting a little pressure on that top corner. And Ollie drops into the middle for him a little bit. It's a quick step around. Brian Poolman with a quick tackle. Gets the ball and puts it, oh, 40 yards. <laughs> That's a pretty good look. Brockton player taking it down, getting it wide. This little number two has had a good game. Uh -huh. Nate's hanging with him. <laughs> Throw in here for Needham. Just noticing uh, some of the mustaches and the beards. <laughs> oh, nice, nice touch. Marcus gives a quick pass out wide to Nate Rammer, so it'll trickle out of bounds for a, oh no, they're calling a little push on that. All right. 
And Matt Federico will take it. When you say you're noticing the mustaches and yes, the beards I am. on the I, players? Because they're so close to us. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of facial hair. And sometimes that surprises me in the high school game. <laughs> yeah, usually the why. style is to, like, is to shave your head. <laughs> of... That's right. I get the <gasps> nice poke. Oh. They're already trying at, to get there. Here's yes, an opportunity Maslow. for the Rockets. See if we can keep it. Oh, gives it back to Maslow. <gasps> oh, stays with it. Oh, gets it in the middle. How fun Rockets is this team? Defense looks like they're going to get it up, but here we go. turns and <laughs> gets the, a foot on when it. When the Rockets have opportunities like that, you can just feel the fans on our side, oh, on, on their this feet. side of the yeah, the stands. They just yes. go crazy. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that, but there was oh. a. Oh. Is that our? <laughs> So Brian Pullman uh, turned to kick the ball that stayed in bounds. So that's how far he was from that from that bleachers, and um, momentum and a little help into the side of the bleachers. Did he get put? You got yeah, pushed they both a hit the wall. You could hear them. Yeah, uh, oh, Brian, they both Brian hit. was inside of the white player. So they're talking about how. I think the referees are talking about was their intention there, and let's see what they're going to do with this. But they're having a nice little conversation, which is good. That's good to get, you know, some conversation around some of that stuff. They're going to give. Yeah, it's going to be a, a throw kick, I guess. or a kick, a kick. Okay, so they're calling a kick. So they called him for the push out of bounds. Wow. Good that they weren't closer to that metal bench or something like that, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, Marcus gets up. Nate Goldberg keeps it in. Oh, the metal. I'm like trying to think of like the metal bench. I'm like, oh, right. If they right. hit the metal they, bench, that would have been a lot worse. Hit, yeah, that could have been worse. It could have been worse. Meanwhile, the clock still rolls, so maybe... In boys, do they not stop it? Or maybe they just didn't realize they're supposed to stop it? <laughs> uh, you know what? They do tend to keep the time on the field. So um, For the girls' game, the first game here uh, for the final, they definitely yep. stopped it at 5. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's funny. They do stop it at 5 now, and I don't know why. We talked about that a little bit in the girls' game, and it's. Uh, I think they'll probably stop it at 2 minutes here, but we'll see. You would think so. I Last time I was at this field, it was for a boys lacrosse game. I'm just remembering it now. <laughs> Ooh. Matt Maslow gets pushed from behind when he goes up for that header. And the Brockton player doesn't like the call. They never do. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know. I well, mean, there's always, you never like it always, when it goes yeah. against you. And so. you want to be able to be somewhat physical in this game. And it's, it's just it's such a fine line between, you know, where you can be physical and sometimes where you can't. All right, here we go. Needham corner has kick. a corner. Yep. Fans are on their feet. Looking for something big to happen here going into halftime. This would be great. Let's see what we got. Oh. That one's ahead and it's going to go to the left, but I think they're calling another corner. Steven went up for the ball. It's another corner, and their player goes down not happy. <laughs> I think they're going to take it's it from the other corner. side. Yep, we need a... Uh, Take it from the other side. Okay, we're going to have Nate go take it. Goldberg. Let's see if we can get a big <laughs> head on this. Or, or a foot. I'll take any. I'll take anything. Any part of the body on this and into the net would work for me. Here comes oh, the kick. That's a rip. <laughs> Still loose. Marcus went right to the ball and did such a good job. Oh, there's bodies flying. Yeah, there's. <laughs> yep. All right. And, Bro and Brock a lot clears going it out on, with but that. Gets it out. Oh, Brian. Oh, too bad. Brock controls it around midfield. Yep. Here goes Brian Pullman. He, he just got the ball over near us, and he's in the back right corner already, <laughs> chasing it down. So they did stop the clock at two minutes, I they see. They did, yes. So we are into stoppage time here in well, the first. They keep the final two minutes on the field, mm -hmm. and the referees watch. So see what we can do. It's been a great first half. 
It well, certainly has, just back and forth. Brockton's had a couple of good chances, and the Rockets Steven. have had one or two. Yep. Ooh, Matt. Unlucky. Both of these defenses playing very well. Definitely. And what do they say wins championships? <laughs> I do believe it's defense. Here's Xavier on the wing. I do believe it. Oh, he stumbles a little bit. I think he stumbled Good. over the ball, actually. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a nice tackle. tough one. They're going to call a whistle. That's um yeah, an that's, interesting yeah, that's call tough because he kicked it into him. <laughs> yeah, Alejandro, he sort of. You know, this is where it just him, yeah. it just gets it gets hard for the referees to like yeah. make these calls because they're. Uh, they start to question themselves what's intentional and what's not. Right. So. so Fernandez is going to take the kick. Oh, I don't know if actually it looked like he was going to. But actually, I think that's halftime. He look, whistled it right I, before I they took like, the kick. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like they called that whistle before they even made the kick, so that's a little odd. Well, I mean, technically speaking, if you take a long time to take the kick, it should the time should run out. Sometimes, I think most times, they allow the kick to happen. So maybe it was just we were out of time. So we are at halftime. No score in this Division I South Section Final between Needham and Brockton. We'll take a quick break and be back with the second half here on the Needham Channel. How to continue the talk with your friend about their mental health after you ask about how they were feeling. Put down that phone. Do it. Nobody's texting you. Phone down. Good. Now it's time to listen. If they're not ready to talk yet, check back in later. I'm always here if you want to talk, okay? That was great. Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at seizetheawkward.org. Awkward. Hey guys, what's up? It's Liza Koshy, and today I'm gonna tell you a little story about my anxiety. So I turned 20, um, I had been moved out to LA. I was doing different stuff out here and having fun and just being myself until anxiety hit me like a brick. <laughs> Mine specifically is social anxiety, which is ironic for the job that I have as a social influencer. <laughs> talking to a camera was something that always made me feel comfortable. Um, talking to a camera right now is much better than me talking to a person because I'm a socially anxious person. So dealing with my anxiety was um, hard and I'm still dealing with it, but it's not something that can't be dealt with. I have a friend who opened up to me about his OCD and it was something that was very tough for him to open up about because he had never opened up to anybody about it before. And I completely related to that because I had been holding in my feelings about my anxiety for an entire year. It just started this free flow of conversation between both of us about my anxiety, about his OCD, about these two things that we didn't know about each other. We thought we knew each other so well, but it wasn't until we opened up about our mental health that we really, really connected even more. Now we actually have a code name whenever I'm feeling anxious or whenever he's having, you know, his thoughts. It's called Tiffany, but it's just like, hey, Tiffany's here. She's freaking here, man. It feels good to be able to label something and, and, and put it away in your brain rather than let it become your entire brain in itself. Everybody has some sort of mental health to take care of. It is a part of your health. It's something that you live with and that's something that you learn to deal with by opening up to people about it. It allowed me to understand myself more as a person, allowed me to accept that it's a part of me rather than pushing it off and saying, no, this isn't me, this isn't me. It's a part of me and it's something that I'll always live with and deal with, but it doesn't define me. I'm Joel Gamron, national chef of Sur La Table and host of Scraps, a cooking show that tackles food waste. And I just whipped up the most amazing Thanksgiving and I have just the right amount of pumpkin pie just the perfect amount of turkey to rock out the most amazing leftover pumpkin pie and turkey curry. So I've got a big Dutch oven here. I'm gonna grab just some good old fashioned canola oil, baby. These are mustard seeds. This is what mustard's made out of. It's not just in that little jar. So I've got some onions, I've got some chili and garlic. And when you're cooking Indian food, these are mainly the three ingredients you gotta have. And again, one pot. And what I love about the guesstimator, I knew exactly from the start how much leftovers I was gonna have. Things are starting to kind of get sticky and brown and really, really, really fragrant. And you should be on high heat this whole time. This is quick cooking. Again, we wanna get you out of the kitchen and enjoying food with all your friends and fam. 
Now we've got four spices here. If you only have three of these four, you can still rock this out, I promise you. You've got garam masala, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. Garam masala might be the tough one, but it's worth it to go find that. Into the hot oil, into those beautiful onions, garlic, and chili. It's gonna toast up and your whole house is going to transform. Pumpkin pie filling in. Oh, now it's starting to look like a curry, baby. This looks so, so good. Now, every curry needs a little bit of sweetness, and since it's fall, we're going maple. Is it traditional? No. Is it bomb? Yeah. A couple of cans of coconut milk, and this is gonna bring some richness, but at the same time, a little lightness. So I've got some cilantro, and if you know me, again, I hate wasting everything. So we're gonna use the stems in the curry and the leaves on top. Those turkey flavors we've had, we're kind of tired of. So to add this to this beautiful kind of foreign deal is really gonna knock people off their socks. Let's check this out, it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, I mean, it's, it's heaven. I'm just gonna pull some out. You can see the mustard seeds, the chili, all that pull apart, beautiful delicate turkey. That leftover pie crust we threw into the oven and it got kind of crispy. All right, let's try this out. Mm. It, it's so different than everything that you had the night before. It's everything I want. It's comforting. I absolutely adore this dish. And if you want this recipe and even more food waste tips, and of course, the guesstimator, head over to savethefood.com. I'll see you there. We are back here for the second half of the Division I South sectional final between Needham Boys Soccer and Brockton. Mike Levin and Judy Brady here at Hingham High School. 0-0 zero, zero is your score, Judy. It is. You could cut the tension right now. These teams want it bad, and it is anyone's for the taking right now. Whoever whoever steps up, gets a little lucky, plays a little harder, gets a, gets a lucky call. I don't know what it's going to take. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to take, but uh, it's anyone's game right now, and you can feel the excitement. I'm not exactly sure if our commentary will be running in Brockton, but we are <laughs> giving our footage over to the, uh, the, the good people at Brockton for this game, and it's been a good one so far. It's been a great game, and if our commentary runs, I just want to shout out to the Brockton team. They, they're excellent. Yeah. I mean, this is, they are, I feel a little, a little, uh, like the boys versus the men a little here. Brockton are <laughs> to be reckoned with, so we'll see if our boys can handle them. Nice poke, Matt Doherty uh, tries to play. It's so hard to play the ball when you're running backwards like that. Oh, nice, Nate Ramos tries to turn it. Uh, Matt Doherty plays a lot with his back to the goal where he wants to go, and he does a really nice job of it. He makes it look easy. Here comes Nate Goldberg. Yeah, they're on the near side here. Yeah, we got the other side. It's nice to see these players up close, huh? <laughs> kind of like a different view. I mean, well, I see we got the uh, the shadows coming in again, just like we did for the uh, the girls yep. game the other night. Yep, the sun is <laughs> getting let's lower. Just, let's just hope that that doesn't uh, force us to change the uh, the brightness levels on this camera before yep. the game is over. <laughs> yeah. Because that I had to do a whole bunch for the, the girls game the other night. So this is a very dangerous ball, and... Um, you know, Matt did touch the guy on the back, but he, he fell very easily. And, uh, you know, it's a smart play. Lucas Fernandez taking the kick. Ho, ho, ho. This one right in front of the net. 13 has a good shot, oh. and he buries it in the back. Brockton with a big goal, less than just over a minute into this second half. And I the excitement. That was 13, Jalen DeRosa with the goal. Huge, What huge. a beautiful hit goal for the Brockton boxers who take the one nothing lead. The Brockton fans are ecstatic, as is the team. Yeah. You know, we mentioned that they're, the other They're the congratulating other yep. DeRosa for the goal, and rightly so. That was a great goal. Yep. 1-3, they're, the, they're telling the guys in the booth that's who hit it, 1-3. Probably no assist on that. It kind of bounced out off of probably a couple of players probably defenders and 213 had a fortuitous bounce and just buried a volley into the back of the net top left so Brockton Boston starts that was All an right. interesting way to say his name <laughs> <laughs> 
in the is that a Hingham fo- guy who does 42nd doing minute. That? I don't know, but that was a funny announcement. And uh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> a couple of people falling. I know. Unlucky. I thought he thought he was going to take it with him. They're going to talk it out a little bit here. Nate will put it out off the Brockton player, clearly off the Brockton player who, who's asking for the throw. He, ra- he raised his hand. <laughs> there is a man down um, who just simply ran into Steven. I'm not sure um, how he, oh, he's throwing his gloves off. He's writhing in pain. Oh, and he's sitting up. That's good. Oh, and he's going to get up. Okay. Is this our goal scorer? Is this 13? Who's down? No, no. He's over there. Yeah, I'm trying to see who the number is. Shaken. From this angle, I can't really up. see. Yep, but he's all right. He's, he's going to come off 12. Yep. He threw his gloves. Eric he's looking Bruno. for them. His friend's got him. All right. Yeah. <laughs> number eight. I got your gloves. So the referees are chatting with a couple of Needham players. I'm not really sure about what. <laughs> the Needham fans are just like, yep, yeah, be fine, let's go. Yeah, well, they do stop the clock, so we're all regrouping here a little bit. Right. <laughs> they seem to be a little, con- Needham seems to be a little concerned. I think there's some... Uh, there's some falling down going on a little bit, possibly. There certainly was a lot a lot through that first half. Yeah. So we'll see <coughs> if we can stay on our feet. We're going to serve it up back to Brockton to get the ball in play. Oh, okay, so they basically Good they kicked it just to, yeah, just to yep. give it back to them. Because and number 12, who came off the field because he went down and stopped the game for injury, just goes right back on as soon as the ball is kicked. But yep. he has to come out and do that from the 50. So he's back on. They're gonna hold. They're gonna start their stall now. <laughs> Are they gonna use the uh, the old English national team? Well, I mean that was <laughs> philosophy. Clearly, you get that one nothing lead, and yeah, they just kick it around. Yeah, that's what they just seem to do. So we'll see. Needham's gonna try to possess it. See what they can do. Steven's got men all over him. <laughs> Stephen Donovan rarely hits the ground, so. Nate plays the body, yeah. <laughs> and he will get called on that. As yeah, as he probably should, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a little aggressive. Even though he has to use all of his strength to hold that guy off, it just you can't make it look like that. Right. <laughs> so now Brockton will take their time with every free kick and every throw in, yeah. if that's what their plan is, but we'll see. Fernandez taking the kick here. It's a lofted ball up in front. Oh, they're going to get hungry now. Nice defense. That's Nate Goldberg clearing it out. out. Yep, because that was dangerous. So we got DeRose is going to take the throw in. That's a nice big lofted ball as well. Xavier heads it over the middle. And Needham's trying to usher that ball out of their end. Still in bounds. Kicking it out was Brito, number 22. Needham throw in here. Oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It's, that'll slow him down. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty clear push. They are going to take their time. Here we go. Needham's going to set up. Look at Xavier asking, waving his hand, saying, put it up. He wants it. Luckily, Brian Pullman, who is just about his height, is with him. And Xavier here. Pushes it out to the side. Plays a simple pass. You know, he they're calling for a handball. He couldn't have had his hands closer to his body. He pulled him in before it hit his hands. So, um, and that was the right referee in front of the ref, it, too. So if it yeah. had been a handball, they would have called him. That's right. Handling. He didn't handle the ball. Ooh, that is a low strike. Steven will control it up the middle. Maslow looking to push it through. 
trying to pass the ball. Needham is really trying to uh, possess it. Brian's going to usher it down, takes a hit. Oh, ho, ho, nicely done. Brockton keeps it in. Ryan Pullman, he's in his height. Mac Turner is going to push it out. He sees Matt Doherty up here. Matt's going to try to play it. Okay, be a there's a here. call for Needham. Now you'll see Needham hustle on these plays where Brockton takes their time and sets it up because we want to we wanna push a little bit. We want to push the pace of the game. Let's see. And there's still plenty of time left yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of touching going on in front of the net. Oh, Nate Ramrath <laughs> turns and Hits takes the football it. up right and comes back into the top of the net, but that'll be a goal kick. Yep. Looking for a little help from the referees. Call, calling out numbers of players on Brockton who are poking <laughs> at our players on the free kicks. And did did the Brockton coach like respond to that? I don't know what Somebody he said. Somebody said, yeah. okay, 17. It's, get, it's getting, you know, it's it's important. The, all these little things are important. All these little, you know, nice, nice save. Ale is gonna try to turn it around. Oh, that was not a foul. Steven tripped up himself and over the ball, but the uh, Needham fans want that call. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit of a crazy half, I think. Yeah, we still have yeah. over 32 minutes left here and lots of shoving, lots yes. of pushing Getting back and ugly. forth by both teams. There's a lot on the line. It's a really hard thing to do to make it to a state championship game. So it doesn't come easily. Comes with some pushing and some shoving. Yeah. And the Rockets, they have a fairly big senior class, so it'll be interesting. You know, I noticed we have 15 seniors for the Needham team and 16 seniors on the Brockton team. So oh, wow. So we both match of these up, teams. Yeah, lots of seniors. It's, it takes could a be, lot of seniors yeah, this to could get. Be not, the, not the last opportunity, but not no, as. No, they'll, they'll I mean, reload. <laughs> they'll we reload. saw with, with football this past year, they lost a lot of seniors, and yes. obviously they had a yes. sort of a rebuilding year this year. Yep. And it, it does. It affects your size in, in the boys' games. Oh, nice let through. Oh, it's a good look. Nobody on him. Oh. There's a shot a little bit too far wide, right? That'll take. We'll take it. <laughs> that was a good look. Really good look. And he was wide open in the middle, so Needham's going to need to adjust and sort of cover up a little better. You know, Brockton, they did knock on the door a lot in that first half, and Needham's defense did a pretty good job of containing most yep. of the shot opportunities, but you knew that Brockton was going to probably get a good opportunity, a number yeah. of good Ooh. opportunities again, and they really, the first opportunity they did in the second half, they got that goal. Yeah. So, that's actually, uh, the referee makes a call. I don't think the referee can win anymore at this point, because <laughs> No Marcus, matter what he said, Marcus yeah, it does. got knocked down and sort of crawled towards the ball and, and got himself in a dangerous position. So I think that's what the referee was calling a dangerous play on him. And uh, that I would think that would be a good call, but the entire um, fan base of Needham did not like it. <laughs> so I'll just be quiet. <laughs> All right, you can see Brian Pullman's marking up on Xavier, and Xavier's waving for the waving for the ball. He's like, "Put it up, I will get it." So that's what they're gonna try to do. Oh, that's lofted. It's gonna be far, but he could keep that in. Nope. All right, it goes over the end line. <laughs> Xavier sort of <laughs> was he trying to save. He it, just wants that ball on his head. Look how tall he is. He's. I mean, we don't yeah. have their heights here, but no. If I had to guess, I mean, he is. Well, he's over six feet. We'll six say that. Six three or so. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if he's on the basketball team, too. Uh, probably. <laughs> Good D by number 12. Steven gets himself around the player, but the sideline referee had that called out of bounds, and it was. We, can, we have a good view of that one. Mm -hmm. Right in front of us. 17 takes the throw in. Let Maslow will play it, keeps it in. The referee's doing a great job trying to explain to people, trying to get things calmed down as best he can. Nate will pass it into the um yeah, Nate will pass it into the middle of the field. Maslow trying to come up with it. Steven 
That's all right. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's a play. It is a play on. Oh, and Nate Rammer still Rockets. has it. Still alive. Yeah. Turns. Oh! Shoot <laughs> score. The Rockets tie it up. <laughs> oh, my God. That was amazing. Matt Doherty, baby. I picked him at halftime. We all guessed who we thought was going to score. <laughs> I picked you, Matt Doherty. That's that an interesting celebration huge. by the Rockets. Yes. Huge assist by Nate Ramrus. 28-53 left in the Maso, first half, Maso and we're tied this, again. Maso holding his head here, too. I hope he's... A, he's a, was he the he's one that was shaken shoved down? up, and Coach Odierna is taking it out with the ref. Taking it up with the ref. He does not like his players going down. This and fortunately, the ref cannot see every single thing that happens. Right, yeah. You know, and in that play, one of the Brockton kids went down and stayed down. And, and that's a problem because we got the advantage and he stayed down looking for them to stop the game. They didn't. And Needham played on and ended up with a beautiful finish by yeah. Matt Doherty, number 20, from Nate Ramers, number 18. Two of my favorite seniors on the Needham Rockets. <laughs> Woo! So says Judy Reddy. <laughs> So just about 10 minutes apart, those two goals. So now uh, in we a got first ourselves half that, the game. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, a first half that saw a lot of defense, a couple of shot opportunities, but no goals. Now all of a sudden, just over 10 minutes into this game, we've got two goals, one for each team. That was terrific finish by Matt Doherty. That is a goal scorer's goal right yeah. there. And he's certainly he, been that. He knew right where I, I, he was. I don't have stats or anything, but I wouldn't be surprised oh, if Doherty oh, was the leading oh, this scorer is a for problem. this team. This is a problem. Okay. They call the PK. Referee from about 35 yards out trailing the play calls the penalty kick. Ugh. Calling uh, the goalie for coming out and sliding the um, striker. The, was it Xavier who was in? I don't know if it was him or Like 15. he wasn't going for the ball or something? Exactly. That's what uh, he's saying. <laughs> that is, it's kind of one in the same, isn't it? This is all. The coaches are fit to be tied. Well, Xavier is the guy that you want taking this if well, you are Brockton. No question about that. And Garrick's our guy in goal, so we'll see what he's made of right about now. So Garrick Dick will try to stop this. So oh. Xavier is on target. Brockton fans are coming down this side of the field so they can get a closer yeah. view of this. <laughs> oh, boy. This is, this is big stuff. The referee is yeah, talking referee's to the players. Trying to get everybody oh. to stay back. You know, that was, uh, this, is a huge, this is a huge call. So here we go. Xavier yeah. takes the kick. Oh. And buries it. And Garrig guesses right, dives right, and doesn't quite get there in time. He's so disappointed. Wow. We're That's seeing a, a lot of showboat now on both yeah. teams. Yeah. This has happened now. We need him scored and now Brockton with the go-ahead goal here. It's, it's fun to see in soccer. <laughs> Sorry, in high school soccer, you see this in like pro soccer, but yeah. This is uh, this so is this just is, about what thirty seconds after Needham tied it up. Yep. Brockton's got the lead back. Yep, and Needham knows now they're going to have to work hard to uh, to change this game now again. Oh, uh, look at this. Yep. There's going to be that. Oh, and he gets the call. He does get the call. You know, if I'm the referees, you know, at this point, at this you got to start talking to these kids and saying, listen, you're doing this every time now. Like, you got to stop this. I am not sure start... that point has passed. Shouldn't they <laughs> so be giving out he said, cards? At this point, he should talk to the kids. Well, yes, he can, he, can, he can give you a card for diving. I mean, that was Matt Doherty, you know, playing the Brockton's game. And now you've got both teams that are going to be looking for calls every time they hit the ground. And maybe hitting the ground when they don't need to. So yep. we'll see. See what they can make with this. Look at Stephen Donovan. Oh, Donovan's shot's going to go over. Too bad. Well, you know what? We know what we need to do. And keeping our composure is going to be part of that. Brockton's going to need to keep theirs as well. You know, there's going to almost every time there's contact between two players, someone's going to fall. Mm. If that's what, you know, if it continues like this. 
Nice job, Ale. Seized, seized. Oh, Matt. Good idea. Trying to trying to heel pass it back to Steven, who he thought was coming, but he didn't quite quite execute it. Here's Fernandez, number seven, pushing it upfield, looking for nine. Nice job, Marcus Trabuco. Oh, Steven, trying to loft it. <gasps> that one almost went through. I think he put a I little. I assume that's Cheritakis, George Cheritakis in goal. I know that he had a great game in their semifinal win. You know, and he's not the tallest goalie we've seen, so shooting high is not a bad idea. Yeah, that <laughs> very nearly got mm -hmm, by him, mm -hmm. and it wasn't even like a direct shot. But now a rocket corner kick. Oh, okay, Nate Goldberg gets announced as taking the corner. Here we go. Good opportunity. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, nicely cleared by a head by a Brockton player. Gets helped out, and Brian Pullman will come up and give it a give it a a volley up and over. But that is going to be too far. That's a tough ball when that ball's bouncing out and everybody's charging towards you. It's in your best interest to put it to a corner, but it's hard because then you're you can also be off sides on that. So sometimes bringing it down and playing it wide is the best bet. Number 20 for Brockton taking the field. Number eight coming out. Belvic De Silva. It's another De Silva. <laughs> That's a great goal. Kick comes out to about the 50. Steve and Donovan will go up with him with Xavier. Oh, nicely done. Oh, follow up. Xavier kind of followed up into, uh, I think that's Mac Turner. After he got rid of the ball, there was a collision. Oh, and Xavier got a card for that. Did he really? Yep, the ref's putting it back in his pocket and a couple of uh, well, people cheered. So he's going to come off the field. Is that sort of the message right there? That <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's, here we go. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Um, I don't know if, did they substitute for him? I didn't see anybody go on. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yellow card to Xavier. We do have, there's still uh, 11 players on the field. If it's a red card, we, they go down a player. Right, they would be down a player. Yep. And the clock is still ticking, so I'm not sure um, if the referee has stopped it in his pocket or what. Some... You know, these free kicks are just setting up a lot of touching. <laughs> oh, that's a nice ball lofted up. Oh, Matt Doherty gets up. Punched out by Takas, did you say? Oh, too bad. Oh, that's lucky. A little heel flick by Marcus. He's trying to keep it going forward. That's a good ball. This is our freshman, Dylan. Goes off him and out of bounds for a goal kick. Exciting stuff. Yeah, every possession now, it's oh, just it is. Just waiting for something yep. to happen because yep. it's been doing that pretty much the whole second half. Yeah, and there's been so many free kicks that there's so much lining up for free kicks and lots of touching and pushing and all that. So, Marcus. Which could make things interesting oh, at the end of this half. that's a good look. He is on get a lot of stoppage time. Matt Doherty <laughs> on sides. He's got to look to take a kick, take a shot, I mean. Nice block there by. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They keep it in. Who's that? Do I see that? I can't tell who that is in the far side. There? Okay, Federico steps and gets it to our guy. Oh. <laughs> right in front oh. of the net. That's going to be another score for the that Rockets. Matt Federico. <laughs> Matt Federico. Makes a run from the back. Picks the ball Federica. up on his chest. Drops it and super composed puts it by the Brockton goalie. This is unbelievable. This is very interesting. The goal's coming fast Look and furious Look at Stephen now. Donovan like, thank you, Matt Federko. Thank you. You know, sometimes the offense needs a little help. And they don't mind asking for it from their defenders. Oh, I think so. All right, back in action. Here we yep, go. Oh, my two. goodness gracious. Tie Meanwhile, game. The, the clock isn't running for some reason. Well, hopefully someone is keeping it. One of the sideline refs should have it. <laughs> Not the center. Well, maybe the center ref. I, I don't know how they do it. 57th minute. Here's Dylan. 
Oh, Dylan tries to get it across the whole field. Steven comes to catch it. He'll get back. You know what? This is going to be an amazing finish. Don't you get that feeling? Yeah. Oh, Nate Goldberg stays on his feet. Oh, and gets the call. It was interesting because he had number 20, Bell Victor Silva sort of hit he the was, ground first. He was going down and he kind of held him with his yeah. ankles. Yeah. Quick take. Uh, Needham sends it down the right corner. Yeah. What a goal by Matt Federko. Can we just go back to that for a second? <laughs> Holy moly. Well, Xavier's back in now. Oh, yeah. Yellow card won't keep you out for long. You do. I think there's a uh, certain min min number of minutes, like two minutes, but I'm not sure when you get a yellow. Not sure of that rule in high school. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nate Rammers leaves his feet for that, but still working hard to track back, and he gets there. Steven will pick it up. Oh, and somebody's down. I, I don't even know. Oh, oh, oh Matt Doherty. Oh. Here's an interesting I'll opportunity to flex it. I don't know what's... Uh, everybody, everybody pointing in their direction. There's a player from Brockton that's down. Yeah, yellow card on Brockton. Number 15 coming off the field. Mm. And 17 will come on for him. He'll take a two-minute break. Did you break. see another card? Another card, yeah. 15 wow. is coming off the field. I just saw the, the uh, referee wave it. I don't know what he did. Junior Xavier coming off. And 22 writhing in pain over there. So the trainer will go out. Injury timeout. <laughs> All right, so we got a little injury, injury timeout, timeout here. I think we will take a quick timeout, and then we'll be back. I need to with gather more myself. More <laughs> action here on the Needham Channel. All righty, we are back after a quick break here from Hingham High School. Needham and Brockton boys soccer tied 2-2. In the section final, Mike Levin and Judy Brady here with you. And the action very fast and furious at this point, Judy. Yes, it is. Uh, has, it has been a crazy second half um, with both teams just doing anything it takes to try to get a call from the referees. And, you know, the referees kind of having to make some, some big decisions, giving uh, yellow cards, giving penalty kicks. Um, you know, trying to stay in control. It's It's been crazy, but um, exciting. And we've seen four goals so far in the second <laughs> half. So we'll see how we how we go from here. All right. Got a big throw in that corner. Can't, can't see it. Yeah, there's a little fight for it here. 17 for Brockton. Kicks it out, but I think it's going to stay Needham ball. Wow, the fans are excited. Here we go. Is this a corner? Yep. Looking for a timeout, but not going to get it. Jimmy and uh, his assistant asking. Oh, I'm sorry. They're looking for a substitution. Substitution coming in. So Matt Masla is coming in for our freshman, Dylan. He's going to hustle off here. Uh, putting in senior Matt Maslow, who's got some height. They want him in front of the net for the corner. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, cleared by Fernandez. That center back for Brockton, number seven, got up and put it out. Uh, Mac Turner gets it back into the middle. Ale tries to turn with it. Oh, trying to, trying to flick it on. Trying to keep it in here. Nicely done. Matt Doherty tries to redirect it up top. They are still on. Oh! There's a shot. That was Steven save Donovan. A great save. No, that's. Oh. I think Needham's got a corner, but Needham wants, I think, more than that. I think we got a throw in there. I, I can't see that far, in? but um, yeah, I think you're they're right. They're calling for a foul. No, I'm actually, not really they're sure. They're it setting up for a Are they for a kick? kick. Oh, interesting. Not a corner, but. That was a great chance. I think it was Steven Donovan who took that goalie, made a good save. The rebound came out, was a little bit behind the Needham player and uh, led to some craziness there. 
some a little banter going on on the sideline, a little laughing. That's a good sign. <laughs> this is Goldberg we can't take taking our, this. This uh, I can't see. It five, might be, number five. Yeah, number five. Yep, that's Nate Goldberg. All right, everyone, look at the jockeying going on in front of the net. Oh, puts it down low on the ground, and uh, Brockton touches it out. So Nito. So now will. it's going to be a throw in. Yep. It's. It's a good run. Look at Marcus deep in the offensive end. Tries to turn it on to uh, get it to the middle. You got Matt Doherty kind of hanging out in there. Another All right. whistle. That's again. Rockets throwing. Oh no, he's kicking it. Oh. That one gets through Xavier. A bit of a miss kick, but it didn't matter. Needham will throw it from the other side. Yep. Nate will give it back to Mac Turner. He's going to look to get it across. Or put it off them. Yep. For a throw in, Mac is going to take it. Sees it quickly to Federko. Ooh. And Brockton's all over it. Yep. Keeping it out of bounds. Looking to possess it here. Needham's looking to get it to some feet. Maybe switch the field, maybe serve it. That's a good one. Into the middle of the field. Oh, Matt Doherty. Nice try. Tries to knock it quiet at his feet. Oh, that's a great ball by Brockton. Smart. Gehrig's all the way out of the goal. He's going to chip it up. Lucky goes right over. Maslow touches it to Steve and Donovan, who delicately touches it up. Really nicely played. Nate will keep it up in play to that corner. Maslow got the height, that's for sure. Steven takes takes the body, gets the call, but that was a fair play, though. At least he was playing the ball. It's just that guy was a lot taller. Time out. Referee takes a time out for the Brockton team. They're asking for it. Alrighty, so they're taking a timeout. We will take another quick timeout. All and right. we'll be right back here on the Needham Channel. All right, I need a. Ready? Mm, I'm ready. In sure, three, sure fix. two, one. And we are back here on. <laughs> let, let me try that again. Three, two, and we're back here on the Needham Channel. 1827 left in this Division One South section semifinal between Needham Boys Soccer and Brockton. These two teams tied 2-2 and they are, uh, the referees are having some words with both teams here, I notice. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, I don't know what they're explaining, but they're giving, they're giving them some uh, kind of instruction here. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Boys listening intently. I, I, I saw they're a referee with the Needham group, but I did not see a referee with the Brockton group in there. Yeah. I'm now he's going to do it. Yep. He's pulling them together oh, now. You know what? Yep. Maybe <laughs> I saw yellow shirts, and now that I see the Brockton goalie has a yellow oh, shirt, yes. so that's probably what I saw. He but dressed yeah. like a referee today. The referee is yep. calling Brockton over now. Yep, having the same words, I'm sure. Got to keep the message clear to both sides, which mm -hmm. is good. Uh, this is one of the most exciting games I've seen in a long time, and I am just thoroughly enjoying it, I have to say. It has been a very exciting game here between these two teams. Mm -hmm. Second time in the last three years that Needham and Brockton have faced each other in the D1 South Sectional Boys mm -hmm. Soccer Final. And as the sun is going down, it's starting to feel cold. <laughs> well, I've been fighting with the, uh, with the brightness levels on the camera because as I ah. mentioned at the beginning of the half, the sun was sort of coming up over the press box or as it was going the opposite direction. The, the shadow of the press box was covering the field and during a lot of those goals, I was fighting with the Yes, well now <laughs> you should be all levels. set pretty, uh, yeah, it's, pretty it's, much. It's a weird like monotone. background because yep. you see the, the field yeah. on the opposite side is kind of bright, but the field here yep. is fine. Hingham is a really pretty backdrop though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This campus is quite lovely. All right, a little high five from Brockton, uh, number eight to Nate Goldberg just then as they kicked off. So you love seeing it. They're, you know, they're, they're battling out there, but there's a lot of respect yeah. between these teams and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll all do it. Ooh, not gonna get that call. That's Matt Doherty hitting the ground hard. That's okay. You know, you can't, I, I wonder what the ref said. I was just gonna say, I would have hoped that that kind of stuff was gonna stop uh -huh. or at least be 
Kept to a minimum, but now mm. they're, they're That's right a lovely back. ball. Nate's there to take it out of the air. Xavier, great job by Nate to push it forward. And Ale <laughs> will use his height on that. Matt gets up, gets up tall. Nate Ramaris will keep it going. Ooh. Brockton coming up with it for the first pass and a lot of a lot of touches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Three in a row. Up oh, four, five. Oh, nicely broken up by Nate Goldberg, but that'll be a Brockton throw. Coming down on their left side. Fans are still excited. Very a lot going on here. Even the, the <laughs> yeah. two timeouts were probably one was an injury timeout and one was a Brockton timeout. And those are probably well timed. Um, just to quiet things down and calm down sort of the frenzy that was going on mm -hmm. on the field. So we'll see if we can play some soccer. Great hustle by Nate Ramrus. Ooh. Brian's. Oh. <laughs> All right. They're going to. Yep. He doesn't. Someone hits the ground. Ref doesn't even really entertain the idea of calling him for it. Which is which is what he's looking for. Xavier waves for the ball, wants it. Oh, punched out. Gary there, comes out, punches it out. I think it yeah. was his touch that clears it. Steven sees Matt Doherty. He, oh, oh, Matt gets around him. <laughs> Matt's got that great jump in his step. Yeah, made it difficult for the goalie. Couldn't quite Steven, get there, but there's a nice look. Shot to that's Ale. Gonna, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna trickle out. Notice how Steven put that. He, he looked up before he touched that ball, and he saw that Ali had a man on his right, so he put the ball to his left so he could turn and strike it with his right foot. That's the kind of teammate you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Nate Ramos is there, heads it back. Steven will put it back to Ali if he can. Brockton comes up with it. Ooh, Marcus. Good. <laughs> get some fans in front of us. All right, there is definitely this feeling that Needham's got some uh, confidence and that it's anyone's game still. Oh, there goes Matt, who takes it down with his shoulder. There's a shot, it by and a goal! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look pardon, at Brockton. Pardon my oh. awful camera work on that goal. Really vey. Oh, no. Did you miss it? <laughs> well, I sort of, I don't know. Okay. Ho hopefully it'll be all right. But well, just I can describe my angle it. on it was great. So it was a, I think Nate popped it up and came back. It was chipped up, and Matt Doherty caught it on his chest and put it down to himself on his left side. The goalie had to come out and take him. There's a defender to his right, and he was able to put it on the ground to the goalie's left inside of him and to the far corner on the ground. That was just so composed. So, but it was Doherty, though. It was Doherty. Is that his second of the game? That was his second. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. He had that little volley. So the Rockets with their first lead of this game, coming yes. with about 15 and a half to go. And you saw the wave of um, disappointment just hit the Brockton team. They, I mean, they took a knee. They, they can't believe that they have lost this. You know, they, they've been up twice. And they just lost the lead. They lost the tie anyway at this point. And so, um, oh, that's a good look. Brian Poolman sending Ale through. Goalie gets there first. Brockton will work it out now. Um, but I think Brockton is just a little surprised. Is Matt? Nice. Matt Federica's got a, got that strong body. Manages to stay on his feet despite a couple of shoves. And steps to that ball. Oops. Nate and, Nate and Matt going for the same ball. Nice, nice tackle by Brian Pullman. Steven will try to hold him off his back. Not sure that was a necessary call, but um, Steven was trying to hold that guy off his back, and he kind of climbed over him a little bit, but it uh, didn't seem too crazy. But here we go. Oh, that ball's going to run. Let's see. Ale keeps it in. Nate one-times it to the midfield. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, Marcus takes one. It goes far. So now we're yeah. not going to be content with a one-goal you know, one lead. No, 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 I wouldn't think they would be. We are not going to stop. 
And remember, after Brockton scored, how they slowed things down. They were happy with yeah. that, you know. They and, and I think based on the first half, maybe they thought there was only going to be one goal. But here we are, five goals into the second half. Yeah. Nate Goldberg having a game. He's playing great. In the air. You know, we got some height back there. Steven's going to come back to help. That's great midfield help. Oh, that's a lovely ball through. And uh, Matt Frederica puts it out, but that is going to be a corner kick for the boxers. Federico just did a great job right there, knocking that one away, because yeah. that was going to be dangerous. Right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can uh, keep these guys out on the Get corner it. kick. We have some good height in the back on these, which helps. Get a good shot of some of the Needham crowd here as we mm -hmm. see this one go Love in. those rocket hats. Oh! That one is going to hit the crossbar. A header on the rebound goes uh. just off, but Brockton had a really good opportunity there. That was Xavier with that header that hit the crossbar. I think this is Ben Lobel coming in for Matt Doherty. Going to give him... Oh, I'm sorry. Not Matt, Matt Doherty's not coming out. Who just popped out? Oh, Alejandro just came out. He'll get a little... Rest here with 12 minutes left, and Ben Lobel making his first appearance into the game. Matt Doherty scrapping for it here. Okay, he'll get called for that. Making his way around. That's it. Smart ball by Stephen Donovan. Matt Doherty reads Stephen so well, makes the run before he even picks up the ball. There goes Nate. He'll pop it up, seeing if he can push it forward. That's it, Stephen. Number 17 here for Brockton, doing a lot of work. Gets it up. It's going to stay in, so Brian's going to have to. Oh, he's going to try to let it run. Oh, he puts it off of the Brockton player. Nope, nope, puts it. It goes off him. Okay, so that's a Brockton throw. Uh, the Needham fans did not like that call. They thought it was off of Brockton for that, uh, that last throw. Yeah. <laughs> that one was definitely off of Needham. So it'll be a Brockton throw deep in our end. Oh, that's a great throw. He's got a big throw. Steven will usher it out. Matt's going to try to, oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can't do that. You can't get uh, underneath someone when they're in the air like that. It's a funny call, but it's a dangerous play. Yeah. Sergio De Silva getting up gingerly. Yeah, he's had a great game today. He's put himself really out there. He's a junior for Brockton. Yeah, we mentioned Ben Lobel just making his, uh, oh, here we go, entrance into the game. Nice Federko. Oh, too bad. That'll go to them. Oh, <laughs> Ben Lobel making it exciting. And there's Mac Turner keeping it out. Nate Ramos will keep it moving. Keeping it moving forward. Ben Lobel making his presence known up top. Ben is also a senior on the squad. Oh, a little assist to the ground. He does get the call. He extended his arm on the Needham player, which helped him to the floor. So that's usually how you get called for a push if you look like you're pushing. <laughs> you keep your arms tucked in, you know. Oh, that's a good look. That was Nate Ramos. Sees Matt Doherty up top. Knows he can get in front of that, ball, that player um, and does. Oh, Steven challenging in the midfield. Brockton. Gets it up there, gets the cross off. Gehrig's got it. Yeah. You can feel the relief from the Needham fans when our goalie comes up with yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> you know, now wouldn't be a bad time to slow the game down. Nice receive by Ben. Less than 10 he minutes sees Matt ago. Doherty. Oh, Matt gets around the goalie and puts it away again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a call back here. What happened? Called for offsides. He was offsides? And they've already started the play. So uh, he was, you know what? I thought he was even with the player. I'm not surprised. They've. He's been making that run a little early, no. but um, that is unfortunate. The sideline ref has it, had the call. So center ref. See him. All right. Giovanni Martins. I'm sorry. That's the other team. All right. Ben LaBelle had his little 
Had a little run, not, not too very minutes, but made a nice impact out there on the field. And now number 14, Colm O'Malley, also a senior, typically a defender, it says on our roster, but um, he's getting his few minutes on the field too. And number six will hold Matt Doherty off and get called for it there. Matt was gonna get around them and he held them back. Christian Santos gets called for that foul. So Needham will have a nice opportunity here. Yeah, so Colm O'Malley coming in for the first time this game, senior, number 14 for Needham, came in for Ben. He's getting some of his seniors on the field. This is one of those games you want to get your size and your strength and your experience out there. Oh, oh, that touched out by Brockton? Yes, corner Looks kick. Looks like because yep. they're still on this side. And Nate's going to go up there to take it, Goldberg. We've got to differentiate our Nates. we got Ramrus and Goldberg, both of whom are having great games, really having a big impact for the Rockets today. It's amazing how much different this half has been. I mean, considering that the Rockets mm -hmm. offense really struggled just to get it down on the Brockton end. And here we are mm -hmm. in the second half and they've I, they've had it in the Brockton end more than Brockton's Lovely had it in the Lovely service. Oh! oh, header. I don't know if the goalie saved that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that I was, was gonna super say. close. I couldn't tell whether that ball was already out wow. when he kicked it into the side, but either way, it's wow. rocked the ball. Here we go. Yeah, the uh, it's you know a, ga a tale of two halves, right? The first right. half was really like um, a lot of control and a lot of defense. Oh, nice, Matt Maslow. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, Ooh. you know. All right. You know, he doesn't I, like it. It, it does kind of look like both teams are kind of struggling maybe with the weather and stuff that they're going a little bit far and they're falling oh. a little bit. So it's tough to figure out, obviously, the calls. You know, it's, yeah. it's not yeah. easy. Not yeah, no, easy. gosh. I don't know uh, how these referees do it. And I, I have a great deal of respect. Nice. Xavier needs a little help. Steven's trying to help out. Column comes back just to, just to assure that they break up Xavier on that ball. Oh, Matt. Well played by Fernandez. He's a great defender here in the center back. Brian Poolman, our center back, also having a great game. Yeah, so the first half was so defensive, yep. and it was so... Oh, oh, oh. oh Matt. Come on, Doherty. <laughs> and this time, the Rockets get it, and they go up 4-2. to two. The Rockets with a tremendous goal. 6-11 to go, and it's a 4-2 Needham lead. Wow. Matt Doherty with the hat trick on, on the day. Just that is... like, I'm pretty sure he had the hat trick against Hingham. Now he goes to Hingham. To Hingham. In the section final and has a hat trick. Against Brockton. Um, you know, the kid is a goal scorer. He always has been. He wants it. He's a competitor. He's just, he's, he's composed in front of the net. And you know what? I mean, this Brockton team doesn't know what hit them. They just don't know what hit no, them. No, no, they don't. Look at them, hands on hips. They don't know what to do. Doherty's coming out, actually. Doherty's coming out. Look how happy that boy looks. <laughs> well done, Matthew Doherty. What a day. And you know what? Couldn't have done it without his midfield. Never mind his defense. <laughs> Nate wants it. Nate Goldberg calls him off. Calls off Steven and says, I want it. Column's happy to give it back to him looking for him oh nice this is um number eight he just came in for needham i got the wrong F feinstein yes thank you brainstein yes uh daniel feinstein sorry mm -hmm. yes he uh he had a good game the other night at silver lake he had some minutes and he made a good impact he uh came in for matt doherty the other night as well but he just came in for matt doherty today and he's a junior with the team all right, Brockton's making a run. How many defenders? Ooh, that is a kick. Yeah, that is a trip. Yeah. I mean, you could hear him swing and kick and hit him. So this is going to be a very dangerous opportunity for Brockton. Yep, right about the 15-yard line. This is going to be a line, huge yeah. chance for them. Yep. This is going to be big. I mean, they are right. Are they right outside the box? I mean, if that was, you know, three feet closer to the goal, it's a PK. So. Yeah, the yellow line, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. The 18. Yeah. That's really close. So um, the referee is marking off the 10 yards now. He's backing up the wall to 10 <laughs> yards away from the ball. The, the yardage thing is so. easy when you're on a football field <laughs> yeah. like this. So easy to say this is the 10-yard line. Oh, boy. Here we go. 
Neblet taking the kick. Oh, that was so close. Just, <laughs> Just wide to, to the, the right. right. Holy smoke. All right, here goes Dylan, our freshman, coming in for Nate Ramrus. Five minutes left in this game. Nate Ramrus has had a game today. Really stepped up big. Joe Spielman wasn't able to play today. And uh, these guys have covered him up pretty good. Needham trying to win their first section title since 2014, which is also the last time they won the state championship. So we will see. It's also the last time the Rockets were the number one seed in the section. That's right. Oh, so that's lovely. So we will lovely. see here. Fernandez we... will clear that. And the clock did stop at five minutes this time. Yeah, the referees will keep the real time. That's just a that's just an idea. And there was a idea. lot of stoppage time. I have a. Feeling. I think so. <laughs> We're gonna yeah, have a lot more than five for a minutes while. left. That's right. It was Dylan trying is to stay like on his feet. Is there a limit for the amount of uh, stoppage time that you can have? Like, uh, no, I don't think there is. <laughs> just keeps going and going. This referee has earned his pay today. This, this uh, has been has been a uh, a tough game for him. It certainly has. Is that Federico taking this kick? Yep, I think so. This Mac Turner will cover up in the middle for him while he takes this. He's going to try to bend it to the far post or the near post. Oh, oh, that's going to trickle in for a goal. And that is Stephen Donovan. Wow. Stephen Donovan just redirects that ball near post. That is a beautiful service. I think it was Matt Federko's service to Steven. They high five there on his run back. Steven's so thrilled. <laughs> These kids can now relax and enjoy the rest. A uh, couple subs coming in, number six, number 17. Coming in on defense, six is Ben Yi, who's a senior. 17, Marco Flano is our sophomore taking the field. The athlete, Steven Donovan. The athlete. <laughs> the twin. That's right. Ooh. So a 5-2 lead for Needham. God, that must feel good, right? I saw Jimmy Odierna just hug somebody, so I think he's feeling pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> he's a hugger. Considering how close this game was throughout, you know, the first two-thirds or so of this game, it's amazing. The Rockets with a three-goal lead. Amazing. Steven Donovan with the goal. And haven't they scored four of the last five goals? They were down two to one. You know, I, I have to say the goalie for Brockton uh, has made some big decisions to come out a couple times. I think he probably had to, but, um, you know, and then I think he, he got a little shaken. So, uh, like on that near that near post, that was a great that was a great service by Matt Federko. I expected him to go far post, and probably so did they. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Steven's still in the game. Oh, ho, ho. almost gets in. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> The, the, we just a couple had of a kids little, just yeah. stand there. He's like, the clock yeah. isn't moving. That's because it's called st it's stoppage time. Well, stoppage the time, guys. The referees are they, keeping they, the time, They purposely yeah. stop the clock. Yes. <laughs> Still blowing the whistle. Yeah. I, I you got to love I that the kids are keeping understand. track. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're Needham Rocket. One of them's wearing a Needham Rocket hat, so we know they want the clock to run out. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> they want it to go. They want to make sure they Faster, can uh, right. see another game. <laughs> yeah, see another game. Right? <laughs> They're having a blast. We got a few subs coming in on the side. Jimmy's gonna get his players in there. Zachary Silver, number seven. Number nine, Chris Fleming going back in. He had a nice run in the first half. And then Majid Bugazia, number uh, 21, is a senior. Gonna get, to get on the field before the end of this game. This is nice, having this lead uh, allows some, some changes and some opportunities for others. Ooh. All right, nice ball. Keeping it in, keeping it up. Look at the Rockets just attacking. They just, now they're just like smelling blood here. <laughs> Colin O'Malley takes it back. He's gonna send it back to quiet it down a little. Xavier is not gonna stop. That was Nate Goldberg still has it. I don't know why, it gets a call against him. Yep. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Yeah. I hope this guy's all right. Number 12 on Brockton. Eric Brito, Getting up 12. slow. Yeah, senior captain for Brockton. This is a really emotional time in the game for these guys, these senior captains who have 
had, you know, obviously big expectations and high hopes for this game especially and four years of being part of a program mm -hmm. it's coming down they know it's coming down to the last minutes they're down by three goals with a couple minutes left so it's uh it's a it's emotional it's big that's a good clear by steven to get the team up out of their end brockton's not going to stop they're going to play to the final whistles here you know they are right this team is a competitive team they are Nice and like ball. I said, it's a three-goal lead right now, but this was such a close game throughout mm -hmm. most of it. Right. Nice little touches, moving the ball. Still. That. And that is it. That is the, the game. The Needham Rockets. 5-2 winners over Brockton in the Division I South Section Final. It's the Rockets' first section title win since 2014 when they won the state championship. That and they is are as moving good as on. It gets. That is exciting stuff. Congratulations, Needham Rockets. We'll see you at the next one. Yeah. <laughs> and again, we mentioned this earlier in the broadcast. They're going to be playing the Division I North winner, which is either going to be Lincoln Sudbury or Medford, who have been in the news a lot lately. It'll be very, very interesting to see who the Rockets play. But obviously, we want to congratulate this Rockets boys soccer team for a huge win, Judy. Ah, uh, and they take on a... A big group hug with Jimmy O in the middle. Perfect <laughs> ending. <gasps> so for Judy Brady, this is Mike Levin. We want to once again thank you for watching this Needham Channel Sports Playoff broadcast of Needham Boys Soccer, who are victorious 5-2 winners over Brockton. We will see you next time, and go Rockets!